that's a really sad way for that rabbit to go and I am so disappointed. Who, who told them that that was a good idea? Hey Lennies and Funny Lovers, welcome back to the channel. So someone sent me a DM on Instagram telling me to react to this video. And sometimes I take those DMs with a grain of salt because there are so many viral videos on YouTube, guys, of the mistreatment of bunnies and I just try to um, not block it out, but I just, I'm sensitive. And I don't necessarily want to react to that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, but this one caught my attention obviously because they're influencers, it's a family channel. It's called Yai Vlogs. They have 639,000 subscribers. So that's a lot, but that's just their vlogging channel. Their main channel, Tanner Tanner writes, is 1.83 million. So, you know, this is a family with a lot of influence. I have never heard of them prior to this. I don't really watch a lot of family channels. And a week ago, they made a video titled, He Didn't Make It, Loss Is Hard. And they're referring to their family bunny. Now, if there's a YouTuber with a huge audience and a large influence making a video about a bunny in some capacity, I'm gonna try and tackle that video analytically, figure out what can be improved, what could have gone wrong, talk about how this can be prevented in the future and use it for the purpose of educating so that it doesn't happen again. It disappoints me every time, you know, I see videos like this um, because it, it just goes to show how much work we still have left to do despite how successful our channel is. And I know you guys, Lenny's, who watch us, you guys are good bunny parents, but there are so many people who still don't do their research, who still spread so much misinformation and have so many misconceptions about bunnies and, you know, <laughs> make mistakes, which we're human, we make mistakes. When a bunny dies as a result of, of your mistake, I think that's really serious. I also wanna state that I know we as bunny parents can be very passionate about bunny welfare and you will definitely see some of my passion show through in this video, but I do not support or encourage online bullying. I will always state this when I'm reacting to other YouTubers. I also will be blurring out any images that I find inappropriate, as well as any images of anyone under 18. Even if they are shown on the family's actual channel, just out of respect for those kids. I just wanna make clear that any commentary in this video is not geared toward those kids. And everything I'm gonna talk about is simply my opinion based on the information presented to me. Before we move on, please subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the bell for unlimited bunny content. Yeah, let's get to this. Today, Charlie and the rabbit get to be better and better friends. A couple nights ago, the rabbit was like hanging out. Charlie was in the kennel and the rabbit was laying on the back side, so there was kennel between them, but like their heads were right next to each other. And now look at this. There's Charlie, there's the rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit They're is just... laying just like the Charlie. Yeah, and here's Grizz over here like, what's going on guys, what you doing? But yeah. The rabbit looks dead. Yeah. He's not, it's funny, they're just. Do you need a water on it? Nothing. He's breathing, right? Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> rabbit's obviously dead. It's like the, in the first minute of the video. And this mom is like, look how cute the bunny looks next to the dog. Um, is the rabbit really alive? Actually, I think the rabbit is dead. How'd he die? Did he? Darn um, it. Did he get a heart attack? I can't find any marks or anything, so it's possible that, you know how rough they've been playing? His eyes are still open. He's not alive. He didn't make it. So, clue number one, I guess this is the dad. He says, you know how rough they've been playing lately? You mean to tell me that you've been subjecting your bunny to this large dog 
out in your yard and leaving them out there unsupervised? That makes me really upset. It's possible that his neck got broke or something. Chris just wants to play. Are you kidding me? I am absolutely horrified right now by what's happening here and also it it kind of seems like there's a lack of emotion listen if that were lennon i would be having a heart attack and hyperventilating and crying and not being able to control my emotions if that happened to someone's child they would be doing the same thing by the way I'm blurring out the bunny. I really don't like showing dead bunnies on my channel. What happened to the bunny? He was getting to your, he was getting to be Charlie's best friend too. Oh, they were laying together and everything. We need to bury him and we can't do it here. Just bury him. He's just getting to where he literally was like. He had the, he had, he had the, the best life. life now. Yeah, he was, they were friends and they were. They play all the, like seriously, it seems like all day. Within the last three days, Where Charlie and, and the, the bunny have been like inseparable. It's hard when we know that a pet is sick and it dies. It's even harder when it's like so sudden. How we... You know how he goes and they get running and he would bite at Grizz and they'd, they'd roll around? Yeah, I think. Are you kidding me? You're talking about your dog like rolling around with your rabbit in the yard. Do you know how rough dogs play? Who who told them that that was a good idea? If they're not finding any visible wounds, um, my guess is the rabbit died of a heart attack or or shock. Um, but but I'm not done watching this video, so. I'm not gonna jump the gun, let's keep watching. I'm a lot less sad, I'm sad about it for Charlie and, and you kids. And my problem is I start to get connected to his, the whole him and Charlie having a... A good relationship. Like a and... fun relationship. He's literally climbing, we watched it this morning, remember? Mm -hmm. Trying to wake Charlie up this morning to play. Yeah, trying to get him out of the kennel. I now know what happened, we watched the camera footage. We have a camera out there. Um, pointing out to where they were at and uh, Charlie does not like anybody messing with his dog food and the bunny got too close too many times three times to be exact Charlie warned him the first time warned him the second time and then kind of barked chased him the third time and ended up just getting too close and too crazy and the bunny didn't make it through that little wrestling match that they had it wasn't biting it was more just like they were wrestling on the ground like what he does with the yeah, like literally the grizz. And stuff. But the bunny didn't make it because Charlie's a hundred. No, Charlie's like seventy pounds, and the bunny's just this tiny little thing. And... Your seventy-pound dog attacked your rabbit. You left unsupervised in your backyard. That's a really sad way for that rabbit to go and I am so disappointed. I talk about the dangers of predators. I talk about the danger of keeping your bunny outside. They have not said once, man, we shouldn't have done that. It's the rabbit's fault. He's like, oh, the dog warned him once, twice, three times. The rabbit kept approaching him while he was eating. Bye, buddy. But we have to remember the, that we have the memories, right? We ready? So let's close the box. Okay, Lizzie. Anytime we 
come here? I can see the bunny. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, look, 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 look. It's okay to be sad. Wait, look, look, look. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> This guy right here, this guy is totally depressed today. I don't think I've seen a dog this sad since we had to put Polar down and Charlie was so sad. Even with the keys, he's not that, he's not that excited about it. He's just so sad, guys, look at this poor guy. So the saddest part about it is I believe he knows that um, he had something to do with that poor bunny and it's just, it's really got him down. Like this has been him all day long. He goes and lays on the lawn. He goes and sits in his kennel out, out back. He just lays right here. That's because dogs don't know when they're being triggered. I mean, a dog is a predator. A rabbit is a prey animal. Looks around. It's okay, Charlie. We know you didn't do it on purpose. We know you didn't do it on purpose. We know. <laughs> We know you didn't do it on purpose, Charlie Poo. We know. It's okay. It's okay. It's just, it's it's actually been... Another vet? For me, it's actually been more sad to watch him be sad than it's been sad for me at all that we lost the money. Okay, that's a horrible thing to say. Absolutely horrible. You guys, this just goes to show how people still value dogs and cats a lot more than they do bunnies. Bunnies are just seen as disposable or temporary or dumb. This guy values his dog's reaction more than the actual bunny's death. Let that sink in for a little while. I don't mean that I don't, I'm not sad about it. I just mean watching him is, is tougher. If you guys remember, he went through a period of time of like depression, serious depression after we had to put Polar down. And I just hope this doesn't last long because he and that bunny were best friends. No, they were not best friends. They were not best friends. The dog killed the rabbit. Listen, I'm not saying this dog is not a good dog. You can't, you can't even blame the dog because the dog was just being a dog. That's like, you know, bringing a tiger into your home. If that tiger attacks you, you can't be mad at the tiger because the tiger's just doing what it would have done anyway. And we can't escape this part of life, which is death, and it's perfectly okay to be sad. It's perfectly okay to, to have those feelings and emotions because it's part of the, the mourning process as we mourn someone or something's passing. And we just want you guys to remember that we love you and you, you are worth it. Bye guys. Okay guys, so a lot to unpack here. I guess I didn't have to do much um, analyzing because the guy stated what happened to the bunny. It was caught on their security camera. Uh, I'm glad he didn't show that footage because that would have been unnecessary and it would have been disrespectful to that rabbit. It was still a little disrespectful to show the dead rabbit in that video, just kind of laying there on their lawn while they're kind of poking around and trying to figure out what happened. But I understand why they did it. You know, look guys, death is a very subjective concept to talk about. Some people, react differently to death than I would, but I'm sensitive. And I personally just felt like there was a lack of remorse, a lack of emotion, not from everyone, but from most of the people in that video. And a lack of dialogue about what they could have done to prevent that. It doesn't seem like they were fully aware that rabbits don't belong outside, let alone keeping the bunny with two dogs outside. I mean, that's just really 
asking for the rabbit to be killed, to be honest. You know, they can try to convince themselves as much as they want that the dog loved the rabbit or that they both had a good relationship. I'm sure that maybe the dog and the rabbit had some cute, nice moments together. That doesn't mean that they were best friends. Dogs like to play rough. That was a 70 pound dog that killed the rabbit. The rabbit was a tiny little thing. Rabbits are so fragile. They can die of a heart attack. They can die if you drop them by accident. They can break all sorts of bones. You know, it's not in a rabbit's nature to wrestle and play like that. If anything, the, the rabbit's probably been trying to run away from that dog the whole time it's been out there with it. I just, I think that everything that happened was a recipe for disaster and I just really wish they would have done their research. Look, just because this happened, it doesn't make them bad people. It makes them uneducated though. It really sucks that this rabbit had to lose its life. And they make a video out of it like it's just any other day any other vlogging day. They were just kind of pointing the camera in the kids' faces and trying to see if the kids would react or if a kid would cry about it or how the kid felt. And kind of, it just was a very strange video. Yeah, that's just a really sad way for the rabbit to go. And I hope that they can learn from this somehow, that they can reflect on this, you know, and may that bunny rest in peace. Thanks for tuning in as always. Uh, lots more fun stuff coming up soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell and all that jazz. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.